Hi everyone, today I'm going to do a hair routine video. So I'm going to let you know what kind of products I use every day. So I've just washed my hair and I washed my hair using the Schwarzkopf Super Soft Yogurt and Red Berry Smoothie. And I first used this one, the shampoo for coloured hair. And then I used uh, the conditioner for coloured hair as well. And these are really cheap, you can get these from like Body Care or from where else now but they're only like a pound and um yeah the first time I used this I was like oh they're gonna dry my hair out they're gonna be awful but these are really really good I think these really really work for my hair they make it really like super soft what they say <laughs> um yeah I don't know why they do my hair's kind of like quite thick and textured um but they seem to work really really nicely and I've used the L'Oreal Casting Creme Gloss in Black Cherry and I think he used that about a year ago so now the colour is about down to here and it keeps on changing but it's actually kind of it's quite nice people keep commenting on my hair saying it's because it's not all over it's not a complete straight line it's like you can kind of see different tones of, in, of it still in my hair so that's quite good um, and I feel that this shampoo makes it really soft and because it's just kind of dry at the ends and then greasy at the roots. So this kind of, this shampoo kind of makes it okay all throughout the day and I can just leave my hair and it doesn't get greasy or anything like that. So I really like those products. Um, so next what I'm going to do is I'm going to get one of these combs, a wide tooth comb. Um, I've got one that looks like this. This is from Body Care and it's also got a funny handle. But um, I guess you could use one of these although these might be too small but I just kind of like brush through it you can even do this in the shower it's just so you don't snag any of the ends so you're not pulling um, at any knots in your hair because my hair's quite long now you don't want to snap any of the ends so I usually start from the bottom and then work my way up especially if it's really knotty um, but it's not too bad today it's actually kind of drying because I spent so long out of the shower um, yeah, so once I've done that, I then go on and spray Aussie Take the Heat Leave-In Spray, which looks like this. And again, this is from Body Care. I get all my stuff from Body Care. Um, I think it's just the cheapest, that's why. Um, I'll just grab a mirror so I can see what I'm doing. So I'll just spray this kind of like all over my hair. And I really like the smell of this. So once I've done that, I'll just brush it through. Like so. And then I'm going to section my hair. So I'm going to put um, it half up just so I can concentrate on the bottom half because my hair is really thick. And it does take ages to blow dry. Usually, I'll just in the morning, I'll just quickly whiz over it. But um, it kind of it doesn't look very good then. So I like to spend a bit of time on it, just trying to get it nice and straight and sleek. So I'm mean, going to use this hair dryer, which is the Turbo Dryer 2000. If you can see that, and it's a really good hair dryer. Um, I got this for Christmas about three or four years ago, I think, and it's one of the best hair dryers ever. I love it. So I'm just going to do that and I'm going to use um, this big, this huge barrel brush. This brush is, it's got loads of hair on it. It's got a ceramic magnet in it, um, ionic anti-static it says there, you can probably see all the, <laughs> all the hair and stuff. But it is really, really good. I'm not sure if this adds to how sleek my hair is or how it gets. But it is one of the best brushes ever. And I got this from TK Maxx. So I think it was only about a fiver. It was reduced from like £15 or something. But it was one of the best hair brushes that I've had. So I'm just going to use this on my hair.
So I'm just going to go around and do all that bit, just like you've seen. Um, you can use a nozzle. I don't like to. Um, it's probably better using a nozzle. Um, also, one other thing is that when I get out of the shower, or before I get out of the shower, after I've conditioned my hair, left it on for a bit, um, I like to put cold, like freezing cold water on it, just to close the cuticles up, and then it'll make your hair really nice and shiny. So I do try and do that, but if I don't, it doesn't really matter that much. So sometimes I even rinse it under the tap, just the ends, so the ends are really nice and shiny. So I'll just go and blow dry this half out of my hair, then I'll show you what I do next. Okay, so now I've just blow dried all around the bottom bit here, and as you can see, it's really nice and sleek and really nice and shiny. It hasn't got any volume because I haven't added any volume yet, and also because it's quite long underneath here, so I think the weight of the hair will just drag it down. So I don't really bother volumizing it as such. Uh, maybe if I'm going out somewhere, then I'll make it. Um, I'll add a bit more volume to it, but not. I don't really need it during the daytime. So I'm just gonna take the other bit of hair down and I have a side parting in so that's why this bit of hair is on the don't have to blow dry as much of it so then I'll just use one of these clips any of the clips will do but I have to have quite big ones as they don't always like hold my hair so I'm just going to do the same again, just go and whiz around it. I might add a bit more volume, especially around these bits here. Um, I'll just show you what I do to add the volume. I'm sure many of you already know, but I'll just demonstrate how I do it. So that's how I add volume in the hair. I just start off and then just blow dry just the roots of them. So like when I add the brush here, I just blow dry just this top half so it creates root lift and you can see that there. It's not really that much at the moment because you have to keep on going over it and doing it. But um, that's what I'm going to do and I'm going to try and work my way all the way around and I'll come back and show you the rest. Okay, so now we've done all those sections, I'm um, just left with uh, just the top half. So I'm going to show you what I do for this side bit because I want quite a lot of um, volume at the top. So I'm going to start from the back. I've, let, I've already let this bit down here. So I usually just start at the back and I'll grab this section. Okay, so as you can see, I've, the way I've dried it has created a lot of um, root lift there. So now I'm just going to work my way on to the next section, which is this. And then I kind of like change how I blow dry it. So I'm going to change to this side now. I really like to create curl underneath, that's why I'm kind of curling it under and blow drying it as well. So I really like that kind of nice look there. Instead of, I don't really like my hair poker straight because my hair's 
does that anyway like when I blast dry it in the morning it usually just does just dry poker straight and I don't really like that so now I'm just going to carry on and do the front bit and I have some short ends here at the front um, which get really curly so I'm just going to try my best to kind of straighten those out So I'm just going to go over this bit. So, and then that's how I blow dry that section of my hair. And as you can see, it's really nice and smooth and silky soft and. I just I haven't used this shampoo in quite a while because I haven't had it and as soon as I've started using it it's just completely repaired my hair I can't tell you how much I love it it's really good and just like co combined with everything else that I've used it's just really nice um, so yeah I've got quite a lot of um, volume there which will probably go down during the day um, so I'm just going to go on and do this bit here um, I'll probably fast forward this bit so but I'll just show you what I do anyway. I'm going to have to maybe, yeah, I'm going to have to put this into another section. This is a bit too thick to blow dry just that. So. Just going to start off at the back. Sorry I'm bending down a bit, it's because the mirror I can't really see because it's a nice tiny mirror that I'm using. But. Yeah. Also, the only problem with this brush is when you kind of like twisting around, it sometimes gets caught around here, so you have to be careful you don't snag any of your hair like I'm doing now.
<laughs> my arm's starting to ache a bit now. <laughs> Just going around and drawing on my hair. And I think my parting is... Bit I'll just pop that over that side. Okay, so then there's the finished um, look. I've got um, a bit of volume just at the top here. And you can still see some flyaway hairs, but they'll just go down once um, all the static's gone. It's actually not that static, and I think that might be because of the brush as well. And the brush really does keep its heat, so I definitely recommend this brush, even though I don't know where it's from. It just says iTech on here. Um, and then the last thing I do is I just wait until all the hair kind of calms down and then I'm going to use a, um, a shine spray on it. I'll just go and get it one minute. Okay, so I've got it. It's this caviar spray. I've probably talked about it before if you watched some of my videos. It's the Caviar Anti-Aging Rapid Repair Spray and it looks like this. It's quite expensive. I think I bought this off eBay, so it's probably about £15 or something, but I think the retail price for it is about £20. It smells really nice. It smells like fruit and it incredible I think this was in a glossy box in I think it was last it was the very first glossy box and I uh, watched it on S Walker makeup channel and she had like um I think it was a full-size sample she got in the glossy box so that was good so what I do is I just kind of shake it up and then I'll just go back so I can show you that I spray it on the ends and just all over my hair and just wait till it kind of settles and then I can kind of do that for it. Now, I really would recommend using the argan oil as well. It's just the argan oil is really expensive, but so is this. But I definitely recommend it because it does repair your hair. It makes it really nice. Um, so, yeah, so that's basically all I do um, if I get time to blow dry it like that, which isn't often. Um, so, yeah, I hope you all really enjoyed that video. And please um, leave any video responses on how you do your hair or anything like that. And also I'd like to mention um, that the other day when I was at my hairdressing course, a lot of them go on YouTube and they actually found my channel through. Um, I don't know what they were looking for. So I'd like to say hi to my friend Shelley and Linda who have watched these videos and to anybody else who might be watching as well from my hairdressing course. So thank you. And um, yeah, it's a bit weird when that happens. <laughs> So, um, yeah, I hope everyone's having a nice day. The sun's out. Well, it is here anyway. So it's making me a bit happier now. Now the sun's out, even though it's absolutely freezing outside. Right, I'm going to go. Um, thank you for watching. Bye.